Right, the SOT grand final. Right, right. Who's going to win it? John Davison. Tell me who's going to win it and why. I think Wigan uh, will edge it just because of their big game experience. They just seem to know how to win the, the tight games, the big games. It doesn't matter how. They'll grind it out. They'll wrestle it. They just, uh, they've got that edge. And I think, excuse me, they're in good form. They've got all those ingredients. They, you know, they want to send these guys out a winner. Wayne, Tompkins, Bateman, Sutton, and, and also the... The assistant coaches in the support staff in Mark Bitkin and Matty Pete, so a bit of a end of an era there, and they want to finish on the, the right terms. Scott? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, I don't think Wigan on Saturday we play with any sentiment. You know, this, this is just a <clears throat> well, it's not just another game because it's a grand final, but uh, I think the way that Wigan are, the way that Wigan are playing, the way the big game players, the uh, the quality players, uh, when you mentioned it in, in Tompkins. And uh, they say, look at the way Thomas Lulai's fit at the seven. George Williams is back to his best. And, and, and the main man in saying, lock and Powell's got in nicely at Hooker from there. The forward pack, they'll just you know, dominate like, like they normally do. So, But if Warrington are going to win this game, then they have to come up with something totally different to what they're not used to doing. I, as I've mentioned, you know, maybe kicking in the attack account and looking maybe for chips over the top or, or going for 40-20s. But one thing for sure, though, they can't do what Casper did. They can't be kicking the ball out. And walk into scrum because that's what we're going to want. If you want to play the, if you want to play the same pace as what we're going to want to do, where well, you've no chance because that's what we'll talk about with the pressure, the grind from there. So Warrington have to play at a pace what suits them, you know. So they've got to come up with a game plan where ex play expansive and then maybe just get into a bit of a grind and then all of a sudden, you know, move the ball around a little bit from there. But um, they've got to do that for 80 minutes and I'm not sure. I'm not sure they'd be able to play that sort of rugby league football to win a grand final for 80 minutes. Wigan, the philosophy what they will go into the game won't change from the from the first kick off to the last kick off, the last the uh, last second in 80 minutes they will play exactly the same. I just feel as though Wigan's form at this moment in time, the big game players are playing too well, and I've said in my column, I'm going for Wigan by 14. I just think the it's made it's made it's made for Wigan on Saturday. I'm not talking about the sentiment. We're wearing you leaving, Tonkin's leaving, Bateman leaving and so on. I just think we're going to play far too well and um, this is their night. It's their night, Saturday night. We said um, Castleford needed to get off to a fast start, didn't we, to put pressure on Wigan early and they didn't. And I guess it's the same this week as well, isn't it? Warrington need to get the best start against Wigan. I think it would be pretty much like that semi-final at uh, St Helens. They'll, you know, if they get the opportunity to kick two, as Castleford did last year, they will take the opportunity to put points on the board. And the bookmakers better than the outsiders, as expected. Interestingly, they've drifted since Friday. 7-4, uh, to four, best price Warrington, mm. which oh, is a, a big, big price, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's I, a bit big. I think it's a closer game than that. I, I probably will take Wigan. I think this Wigan is Warrington win, absolutely good. Yeah. Mm. Wigan in the cup. Yeah. Warrington yeah, in the cup. They've been this year. It's not yeah. like they've... Not like, uh, you know... They're lost in the DW at the end of the regular <coughs> season. Oh, yeah. Old Tyrone Roberts can't kick a drop goal. Had a perfect plan against St. Helens and folded it through. Well, they... Yeah, uh, from losing in the Chancellor yeah. Cup as well. well. Yeah, well, they won't, they won't be uh, they won't be intimidating, Warrington. That's for sure. You know, but you just feel as though the way the Wigan are going and... This is made for them. This is made for them on Saturday night, you know. And um, as I say, Warrington have got to come with some, something different, something special. Um to beat Wigan it's a, but also as well we mentioned like last year Casper did go for the first two points if I were Warrington I would be going for the two points I wouldn't be going for the drop goal because the further Wigan away from their own trial and they can't score and the way that Warrington defended they've looked at the line speed for Warrington as well against St. Talent that was quality for the full 80 minutes so Warrington if they do get the opportunity to take the two points I wouldn't do that I would just keep Wigan pinned down in their own 22 as far away from my trial line as possible because Warrington have got pace, he's proven that, so any half breaks that can be made, they've got pace there to, you know, to, to, to stop the likes of Manfredi and Gildar and whoever else picks on the wing from there, you know, so... so I Warrington, totally disagree. So, for Warrington... Take every point there. For Warrington, every point there. For Warrington, for field position, they've got to keep Wigan in as much as possible in the all 22. I, I know, because we've played into Wigan's hands, they'll be looking. You, 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 they go for the goal, and, and Wigan will be ripping in, they'll be looking at smashing and forcing mistakes. I think you've got to keep Wigan away from an old trial as long as possible. And as far away as possible. It's interesting. Um, at Wembley and on the Thursday, we saw very little of Josh Charlie. And Dave's asked, could he be the one to ruin Wiggins' party? Mm. Yeah, could, could well be. be. Could you give him the right service. Prove the shield, Charlie. You give him the right service. Mm. He will score your tries and so will the other guy as well in line. Without a doubt. But also as well, I'm just thinking, you know, 
with Tyrone Roberts, if it's not happening for him, they've got to get Declan Patton because I think he, I think I think he brings a bit more variation. Declan well, they won Patton. without Miller, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I think it brings a little bit more. Didn't they? The old top knots. No, they did it all. Uh, this is Winter says Toby, you've already faced defeat in the cup final. They won't want to lose another. Reckon emotion could get to Wigan, all the pressure's on them. Did uh, hold on, didn't didn't Warrington lose the cup final and the grand final before? Where they lost to Wigan. Yep. Lost to Wigan in the final, didn't they? Yep. Lost the whole So there is a yeah. precedent there. Drops yeah. on first points to be a Warrington penalty. Yeah, I'd, I'd, have, I'd, yeah I'd, have, I'd, I'd play that. I think they will. Uh, when we get the points. Don't like Wigan, but want them to win for Sean Wayne. Says Peter, he deserves to go out in style. Uh, Carl's happy he thought we were all going to pick Warrington. Must be Warrington fan. Uh, Vinti says, why will be a dis- different proposition than Cass? Don't think Wigan will have it all their own way. Was you mentioned earlier with Chris Hill? You know, he can be on the. Uh, I think, well, I think Warrington might win. Ben Westwood. You know what he's like. How come I mean, Ben Westwood? Was it about uh, Sean Wayne saying you wish he'd coached him at one point? Yeah, Ben Westwood, who need who is it in the head? <laughs> Cameron Munster got Simbin in the grand final for that. Danny Washbrook got Simbin in the Challenge Cup quarter final for that, and yet Ben Westwood got away with it. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Out? It's, 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 it's inconsistent isn't it, with the referees. Yeah, no, I, thought, I thought that was poor. I thought I was silly from Ben Westwood as well. Really silly. Uh, Sam Tompkins unsurprisingly favourite to be the man of the match mm. at, yeah. at four to one. John Bateman eights. Uh, Daryl Clark and Stephen Ratch are both ten to one. Brown and Roberts twelve to one. I'm going to say now, if Warrington win, Kevin Brown will win man of the match because he's got to play well for them to win. I don't think we'll have seen uh, a Ben Flowers at Duke. Hopefully not. Hopefully, Hopefully I don't, not. I don't think, uh, be, but Sam, Sam Tompkins gets my vote for the uh, Harris Wonderland. Does he? Well, yeah. Played yet? Yeah. Matthew John. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I think Tompkins. Yeah, I think he's just yeah. Last game for Wigan, you know, in his life, he's a Wigan boy. I think uh, I think he'll perform. Is Bateman not more of a media darling? Can I use that term? Seems some of his admirers don't in the media. We are a big yeah. admirers as well, but I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> Who would have picked Liam Farrell to win it a couple of years ago when he was outstanding in the final four at Wigan? You, know, you know what would be interesting as well on uh, Saturday night, how long Sean O'Loughlin plays? How long does he stay on the field for? Does it big him up after 20 minutes? Does it keep him up for half an hour? I think that's the plan now, isn't it? Sometimes yeah. it doesn't even do 20 minutes. Well, now. but I'm saying, do you, know, well, do you think they'll keep him up for longer? And then, no. you know, and then, and keep him, and then bring him back up for the last 20 minutes, or, or say the last 10 minutes. It would be interesting how long O'Loughlin mm. plays. How, well, it's first spell, see how long he's on the field for. No one's going to miss the grand final um, for Wigan or Warrington. No one's been uh, charged. Um, Fui Fui Moimo, who I joked on Twitter yesterday, must have a holiday put. Three match penalty notice for work at grade C high tackle. Uh, Jamie Acton of Lee, grade D intentional strike, referred to Tribunal. Well done, Jamie. It's all <laughs> linked in with a move to Salford. It's got a great record, hasn't how it? How can Fui Fui Moimo have been banned already? <laughs> well, in, in the league season, <laughs> I mean, that won't get reviewed till next week, would it? Is that not a fair thing? So we have even have different rules now for the tribunal yeah, after yeah. the game. What's that all about? I don't know. It's, a bit, it's been a very made-up end to the season, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like this show. It's yeah. just made up. <laughs> well, it's, um, yeah. uh, so, I, I think... Oh, by the way, you, the right. old Goggins here didn't turn it off last week, the, 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 yeah. the podcast. Sean Wayne says the greatest thing ever, right? Oh, In yeah, response yeah. to my question... Goggins here presses stop on the thing. It's like, what are you doing? What was your question? I said, were you disappointed that St. Helens lost? Would that have been your dream final? So it's Wigan. That was when he swore. He swore. Yeah. So yeah. I don't that's, care less who we play. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end he said something quite derogatory about St. Helens, didn't he? <laughs> wow, but he yeah. turned it off. He turned it off. It's like, oh, come on, well, Rich. I hate St. Helens. He's from, uh, he's from, he's from you know what the funniest second. thing I've ever seen in rugby league was, right? They did the um, the press uh, for the semi-finals at Langtree Park <laughs> on the day that they'd started selling tickets for the semi-finals. I think Cass were playing Wigan. So with were hundreds of Saints fans and Wayne had to walk past them all to get in the ground. <laughs> and he went... Them, just made me walk past all them, <laughs> and I've just been getting effed and jeffed the whole way down. He said, that. <laughs> It was quite funny. Uh, but he, uh, yeah, well, he's, 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 he's,
Stephen says it'd be nice to see a new name on the Super League trophy. Yeah. And that is who are you going for? Oh. It's finally their year. Is it their year? It's their year. Kevin Brown by the match. I mean, it's not their year. I've got no money on that, Andy, but that, I, yeah. I mean, I know I know quite well. It'd be nice for him to win. Sean Wayne, if you're listening, I actually meant Wigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to speak to him once more, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, my guys. Fair enough. We're, we're excited, I think. Looking forward to it. <coughs> Do you think uh, that should be, be a good game? It'd be interesting as well after the game because I say I think we're going to win and we're going to be celebrating. You think Mr. Lenny going to be uh, on the sidelines shaking the hands and uh, giving a bit of a, 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 a cool to the show like they have done when they've won with previously? No. Eh? Yeah. You think Mr. Lenny going to make I think himself? Blank, I think I think Sean will blank him. Yeah, but yeah, but I said, but you think Mr. Lenny going to make himself available at the side of the pitch to congratulate Sean? No, hmm? no, I think he will. I think he will. I don't, you know, so Bonk I, I guess just, just, just with, with Lanigan, he, he doesn't realise what a massive mistake he's, he's doing here, does uh, he? Yeah. He doesn't, we'll see. 